In its years of continued progress, Nassau County has become a prosperous, independent metropolitan community with its own identity and winning spirit. Nassau County has gained national attention as a center of commerce, industry, and technology, offering its million and a half residents a high quality of life. But all these developments have also made Nassau County an increasingly complex community to protect. One and a half million people residing within 280 square miles, bounded north and south by over 100 miles of shoreline. Over 4,000 miles of roads, from expressways to residential streets, the largest commuter railroad in the country, and hundreds of daily commercial flights passing overhead to serve nearby New York City. We've seen the development of new commercial and shopping areas and huge public arenas which concentrate large numbers of people. And Nassau County's once suburban landscape has been transformed by office buildings, apartments and dormitories rising to eight and ten stories. Under these complex conditions, coordinated and professional emergency response is essential. In Nassau County, it is also unique. The 71 departments of the Nassau County Fire Service. Tax supported. Volunteer. Second to none. They come from every city, town and hamlet in the county, from every walk of life. 10,000 men and women, trained and equipped by your tax dollars, making up one of the most sophisticated professional firefighting forces in the nation. Firecom 753321. Every day and night, they put their skills to work to protect your lives and property. all fit together. How do 71 independent volunteer fire departments make up a coordinated fire service which can effectively protect an area as large and complex as Nassau County? First, let's look at the fire departments themselves. 31 of Nassau County's fire departments are designated as fire districts, receiving tax support directly from district communities. 19 departments are governed and supported by incorporated villages. 16 are incorporated as fire companies and work under contract to various villages and townships. Three departments come under the jurisdiction of water districts. And two, Long Beach and Glen Cove, are city fire departments. Each of these 71 departments is assigned to one of the county's nine battalion districts, whose chairpersons form the Nassau County Fire Commission. The Fire Commission appoints a county fire marshal and staff to oversee countywide activities, such as the inspection of public, commercial, and institutional buildings, as well as arson investigation. The Bureau of Fire Communications, or FIRECOM, provides modern and centralized communications to 34 departments, also providing backup service to many departments which have their own dispatching facilities. Finally, the Nassau County Fire Service Academy offers basic and continuing training to all the county's volunteers and residents. The volunteer fire service dates back to the days when townspeople would form bucket brigades to extinguish fires. This community spirit continued as fire companies began to organize in the early 1800s, and 25 companies had formed by the turn of the century. By World War I, their numbers had grown to almost 50, 
And as the science and technology of firefighting advanced, Nassau County Fire Service kept the pace, maintaining its leadership as one of the most advanced firefighting organizations in the country. But its heart is still the volunteer and the spirit of the Bucket Brigade. Volunteers, first of all, are there because they want to be there. They're not there because it's their job to do. They're there because that's what they want to do. Volunteers are your, uh, your homeowners, your, uh, your next door neighbor, your uh, friend down the street. It's a strange feel, though, to want to try. Of course, I mean, you know, here's where you have people running out of burning buildings and, and we're running in. Somebody called you because they had a problem and you, you were there. They depended on you and you came and you did the job. There's not too many things you can do where you feel that result right away. That's really what's there for me. Professional firefighting is a dynamic, ever-changing battle. New conditions and building designs require new fire suppression techniques. Equipment is the first line of defense in this battle. And Nassau County's firefighting equipment is the most modern in the world. Over 750 pieces of highly sophisticated apparatus designed to meet any situation. Pumpers capable of delivering up to 1,500 gallons of water per minute. Aerial ladders, tower ladders, and snorkels, all versatile tools, both in rescue work and in defending modern high-rise structures. The fire service arsenal also includes a fleet of ambulances and rescue vehicles, masks, resuscitators, extrication devices, and almost 400 miles of hoses. Volunteers and their equipment can do the job only when they're dispatched accurately and quickly to the scene of an emergency. Enter Firecom, the county's computer-assisted communications and dispatching system. Firecom uses a computerized listing of every location in the county to integrate the necessary emergency response in any situation. Also dispatching joint ambulance and rescue units when needed. The system also expands the county's protective network by coordinating mutual aid calls with neighboring Suffolk County and New York City. An auto accident and a car fire on Charles Lindbergh Boulevard, east of Earl Ovington Boulevard. Firecom provides the vital communications link needed to assure an appropriate response, whatever the situation. Nassau County Police Department provides support services and emergency medical care. Professional emergency response is no accident. Nassau County's 10,000 volunteer firefighters receive the finest training available anywhere at the Nassau County Fire Service Academy in Old Bethpage. Operated by Nassau County's Vocational Education and Extension Board, the Academy conducts training courses for citizens of the county as well as for all ranks of firefighters, from probationary personnel to veteran officers. Experience is the teacher here as firefighters encounter simulations of every likely fire scenario. I'm going to be looking for your techniques in the building. I'm going to be looking for how the officers are directing you. We're going to go through the whole gamut tonight. And if need be, we'll pull you out and we'll run the whole thing all over again. The burn buildings for these drills include a two-and-a-half-story dwelling, a commercial taxpayer property, and a six-story tower. Other fire scenarios include open fuel pits, pressurized gasoline leaks, an overturned tank truck, 
and liquid propane leaks. The purpose of the fire academy is more than to prepare volunteers for the real thing. It is the real thing. As a training officer, I could tell a guy a hundred times what he was going to feel like when he walked into a burning room. What I told him a hundred times would suddenly have a different meaning the day he walked into that room. He gets a chance here to, to see what it's like first. Responding to a growing need within the community, the fire service also provides intensive training in emergency medical services. The fire service now responds to fully half of the county's EMS calls, and these volunteers, trained at Nassau County's Vocational Education and Extension Board, play an increasingly important role in the fire service's involvement in the county's overall EMS picture. Designing and developing fire training concepts on this scale is a unique task. The staff must draw on the vast practical experiences of firefighter activities in the field. Academic standards and effective teaching must be maintained. As the county continues to develop, the academy must also anticipate future fire prevention situations and teaching needs. The administration has embarked on a comprehensive plan to meet the fire service needs of the future. A major component of this effort is the Academy's Public Fire Safety Education Division, which has launched a major campaign to increase public awareness and reduce fire loss in the county. The division serves the county's huge school population through teacher training workshops and nationally distributed fire safety curriculum. Fire safety programs are also offered to the county's senior citizens, hotels, and local business and industry. And the Fire Service Academy itself is being expanded to include new facilities and course curricula. This total plan for the future will assure the excellence of the Nassau County Fire Service into the 21st century. I'm Nassau County Executive Tom Galata. You've just seen the story of some of the bravest and most courageous residents of Nassau County. The 10,000 men and women who comprise our volunteer fire departments. Day and night, 365 days a year, they put their lives on the line to protect the lives and property of our fellow Nassau County residents. Their dedication is demonstrated by the fact that they receive no compensation whatsoever for their bravery. All of our residents should be proud and supportive of our volunteer firefighters. They are our friends and neighbors, and they provide our residents with superior fire protection all year long. In the future, Nassau County will enjoy continued development as one of the country's leading metropolitan areas. You can rest assured that your fire service will remain on the leading edge, sophisticated, coordinated, effective. Your volunteer firefighters, proud, professional, second to none. Providing the county's fire protection, professional training, and public safety education is a major task, and we know we can't do it alone. The 10,000 volunteers and staff of the Nassau County Fire Service thank you for your continued support.